Elocution, the art of public speaking, is part of the fifth canon of rhetoric. Some believe that elocution focuses mainly on pronunciation and eliminating accents. Welcome to Accent Softening Limited. We offer elocution lessons to non-native English speakers and native English speakers with regional accents. Our lessons help you develop new speaking habits by teaching you the correct pronunciation. However, of the elocution as part of delivery focuses not only on what is said, but the gestures and body positions that accompany those words. Those who downplay the way a message is presented refer to elocution as oratorical flourish or elocutionary gymnastics. They believe that a fact is a fact. However, for anyone who has been in a courtroom or seen a political speech, listeners accept only when truth is brought to them in an acceptable way. With the focus on gestures and vocal elements, it is not surprising that one of the most famous rhetoricians in regards to delivery, Thomas Sheridan, started out as an actor. In his lectures on elocution, Thomas Sheridan focused on the importance of being natural in one's delivery. Although elocutionists emphasized being natural, they paradoxically gave explicit instruction on how to perform, the belief being that the more one is prepared, the more natural he can appear. These detailed instructions are evident in William Scott's Lessons in Elocution and Gilbert Austin's Chironomia, which give precise instructions on things such as when to whisper, where to pause, hand gestures, and when to speak loud and slow. The assumption is that particular emotions are displayed in particular ways. Elocution is one way to impart these emotions of the mind and to communicate meaning through voice and gesture.